The Bears beat the Patriots 33-14 to on Monday Night Football. Now, the biggest story in this game for Chicago was that by far, like by a lot, this was the best game all year for the Bears offense. They moved Justin Fields around. They ran bootlegs. They ran sprint outs. They moved the pocket. They got him out of the pocket. Um, they had called designed quarterback runs. Luke Getzey, the Bears offensive coordinator, it felt like he finally figured out, hey, dude, my quarterback is maybe the best in the NFL other than Lamar Jackson at running the football. Like him, Josh Allen, and Justin Fields. So just, Justin Fields, Lamar Jackson, and Josh Allen, I would say are probably like the three best quarterbacks running the football. I'd throw Kyler Murray in there as well. I feel like I'm forgetting someone, but I, I don't know. Like those are the guys I would not want to try to tackle. And, <laughs> I, you know, I would throw Kyler in there because he would just run around me and it'd be horrifying. Um, but like Luke Getzey was realizing we got to get Justin Fields on the perimeter and allow him to do what he does best, which is run the football. He's a really good thrower of the football, but he's maybe, he's one of the four best runners of the football at the quarterback position in the NFL. If not, I think he's he probably even top two or three. And it just makes me happy to see Luke Getty kind of figure it out. I'm like, oh, yes. And, and whether he's top, whatever, that's not here nor there. The point is that the Bears are figuring it out and making progress. And Justin Fields made some really good throws. The play calling by Luke Getty was fantastic. He did have one interception. It wasn't a bad decision. It was a ball that got tipped at the line of scrimmage. That's one I can forgive for sure. Um, Justin Fields ran for first downs. He threw for first downs. He had a couple big runs on broken plays. There was a third and 14 where you're like, they're not going to get this. And he ran for a first down. And you're like, I, I beg to differ. Or there was a third and six where, you know, there was a bad snap. It got dropped and on the ground and he picked it up and on a broken play, ran around and ran for a first down. And you're like, that is why you be patient for Justin Fields because the potential and the special stuff he can do is there. And, I, and I'm sorry, but um, Davis Mills, Mac Jones, bad snap like that. That's a 12 you know, yard loss. Probably they just dive on the football. He's got the ability to not only pick up the ball and run, but then run for a first down on third and six, which is incredible. And uh, I thought another play that comes to mind, there's a third and seven. He avoids a sack. He rolls left. He throws deep down the left sideline to Cole Komet on a back shoulder ball. There were so many beautiful moments on Monday night for Justin Fields, and it was absolutely awesome. Uh, Justin Fields ran for 82 yards and a touchdown. He also threw a touchdown. He was working across the field on reads. I just thought there was a lot of improvement shown in this game by the Bears offense. The Bears scored on five drives in a row, and like the overall takeaway from Monday Night Football is that Justin Fields is making progress, and so was the Bears' offense. Luke Getze appears to be learning how to call plays that fit to his quarterback, and hallelujah, I am so glad to see that, because I want to see Justin Fields work, and I don't think Luke Getze is a dumb guy, and, and I, I'm, I'm glad to see him finally, I think, start to take advantage of what Justin Fields is special at, which is running the football.